Hi everybody, Katherine King here in my June, so hard to believe, June, what have I been warming? Um, there's a lot. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, I'm gonna do my Scentsy first, so that way for those of you who only want to see about Scentsy, can um, turn off and then I'll do the vendor wax that I've been kind of going through. Um, I do have some thoughts, you know, my opinions of Scentsy versus Vendor. It's been a little interesting because this month I really concentrated on the Bring Back My Bar. And I will admit, I have not had very good performance from the Bring Back My Bar. I don't know why. Um, I can't really smell it much. I have Rockin' Ruby Raz going right now. I'm finishing that off. So I gave like kind of a, a midterm of how I was feeling with the Bring Back My Bars this season, what I was going to put in my club. I have put a couple in my club because I want to give them another chance. I don't want to just kind of lose out on experiencing them. I'm wondering, you know, it's been hotter than a mofo here. And I don't know if the air conditioners and the fans have been making a difference. I'm assuming so. Um, Casey recommended. At, she's a friend I have gained here on YouTube. Um, Houghton. I think that's how you say it. Anyway. So she recommended putting in more cubes. I do have a lot of warmers, like even right back here, I have three warmers. So my, um, this one here is the Service and Sacrifice. I think this one right here, that's the Moon Over Jupiter. Now know this one right here, the, I have it in purple, but rem, uh, know that this one is until it sells out. It's been that popular. And then this one is, I think it's called Above the Clouds. So they are all, those, those two are glass warmers, and then that one up there is a ceramic warmer. Um, so I don't know if that plays a, you know, a role. I have just a regular hot plate warmer, and then one, two, two ceramic, my salt warmer, and then a ceramic in the kitchen. So I really don't have any glass warmers out there. I've just been having such a hard time smell excuse me hot dogs um gotta love costco hot dogs anyway i've been having such a hard time smelling anything whether it's vendor or scentsy so i didn't want to miss out on experiencing it fully does that make sense um so if i were to just go oh well i can't smell it i'm not going to put it in my club um and then have it be the the fans and stuff so I did put the ones that I actually, you know, rather liked the smell of them on cold or if I had my nose down in the warmer, I put those in my club. That way I can, you know, try them again a little later. So let's get started. Um, we'll go through, I have what I feel is quite a bit of Scentsy. I know it's been recommended, you know, maybe I could do this weekly. We'll see. Uh... <laughs> You know, we're coming into July. So as you know, in the Scentsy world in July, that's a transition month for us. And I, this is my first transition month. And I am beyond excited because that means in July, I start getting the testers and um, then I can, I'll order the new bars of the, the new scents in the fall scents. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and so I might be warming through some of that. I might be kind of warming through some of the spring summer bars. I want to make sure I put in my club, you know, that kind of thing. So we'll see what happens in July. I may do it monthly. I may do it weekly, bi-weekly. I haven't decided. So that's kind of where we sit now. All right. So this month, my uh, second bedroom, which is kind of a guest, but it's also our, um, our daughter. We have our daughter only every other weekend my husband's daughter. So in her room, I had this fragrance flower. I did not color this one. It is completely dry, 
but still smells really good. So I have a fan right over there. And if I set it in front of the fan, I can still smell it. This was in um, Blue Grotto. So good, nice and strong. It really uh, refreshed the room well. It wasn't like an offensive scent. It was really, really good. I loved it. I think it's fantastic. I may get um, another one because I, well, we'll see what comes out um, in the next catalog. So that was really good. I went through three so I have a Sensi Go in my laundry room. It's an open laundry room. You walk into the laundry room and then into the kitchen. So usually what's in my warmer in the kitchen, you can smell in the laundry room, but I also like my Sensi Go in there. So I went through, I used two pods at the same time. I went through a Go Go Mango. I went through a Jammy Time. Um, and then I also have in right now the lemon, <laughs> lemongrass, coconut lemongrass which is really good. Um, for me, I don't, I don't know if it works. Anyway, it's plugged in 24 seven because I have an outlet in there, but there's not enough room in there for a warmer just because old house type situation. Um, but anyway, I go in there and I shake it up and um, I have it on intermittent. So it doesn't, it's not like on running, blowing 24 um, seven. It's in intermittent smell or blow. Wow, can't even smell that. Anyway. Jammy time I thought would be good in the laundry room. Uh, I think I got this in my shooting star kit. It's not something that I would normally ugh, normally like. Um, now I'm throwing it on the ground. Um, so I had that in there and then the Go Go Mango was really good. But I think so far my favorite in there is the coconut lemongrass. It is so good. It's nice and strong. I think I'm going on week two. Mine don't seem to last. They say, okay, so it says 120 hours, right? There's 24 hours in a day, and if it's 120 hours, that's five days. Let's be honest. So I don't have a high expectation of how long it's going to last. Uh, I hope for a couple weeks, considering it's intermittent. And I do do two at the same time I don't do one I might drop down um I think then this next pot I'm going to put in is going to be the black raspberry vanilla I want to see how strong that one is uh because I love it I am like a, totally addicted to that scent right now so I might put that in in there one pot at a time and see how strong it is and then maybe I can get a month in my car oh dang it I forgot one um, in my car, I've kind of gone through a few things. I had Now and Zen. Um, I put, and then I, it's going to be one of those days. I swear it's month end. Those of you in the accounting world know month end. Okay, I put in pink sugar berry mint. So here's the problem. I have a brand new car. I've had it for two weeks tomorrow. So, and it's leather. So I got a little Mazda CX-5. When I put this in, I'm not sure if it's the new car smell mixed with this, the leather mixed with this. It was nauseating. And I love this scent. This is seriously one of my favorite scents when it comes to bars and all that. I love this scent. But Something with the new car smell in this was no bueno, nasty. I, I had to pull it. Currently, this is sitting in my purse because I thought, why not make my purse smell good? All right. And then when I first going from, I had a Jeep Renegade. So going from my Jeep to the Mazda, I had um, the black raspberry vanilla in the scent circle. And then I put one of these in. I can still smell it. It's just, it's faint. So I did go ahead and pull it out. I had this hooked on the, what is it? The dry cleaning kit or clip in the back. I don't know what it's called. So in towards the back and then this in the front, it's great. I think I want to do that. I have some American uh, or Eskimo kiss that I got off clearance. So I might try that. I just, I have become addicted to the Eskimo Kiss and I've had to kind of scrounge to find some because I started after that catalog was done. Dang it, hot dogs. 
Um, so I don't want to put them in and then have that same nauseating because of the new car smell. So I'm a little hesitant right now. Right now I don't have any kind of scent circle in. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put in. I'm thinking maybe Stroopwafel Delight because it's not like overly sweet. It's more of that spicy bakery. So I might put that in and see how that goes. Um, so I work in a lumber yard. Our bathrooms are being remodeled. So we have an outhouse. So I have run through a couple scent circles there. I had by the sea in there and that was really good. It lasted in the heat because, you know, we were in the hundreds for three days and then 80s. Um, it lasted a week in the outhouse and it just provided this nice calm scent. I know that sounds really kind of weird, but it wasn't like fruity. It wasn't bakery. It was just this nice, oh, clean. It was a clean scent. And I, and I really liked it. I thought it worked really well. This week, um, we have kind of got into the bathroom a little bit because one side, the female side has been remodeled, but it's not finished, but we can still use the toilet. And so I still have it in the outhouse, but I put in aloe water and cucumber and it, I just wanted a nice clean scent in there again. So I did that. Now let's get down to the bars. So I haven't used all the bars. So I know some people do the bars on, um, you know, just what they've gone through. And then they have a different video of their, what is it? Un unfinished ones. I, I, I can't even think of it right now. But anyway, that's not kind of how I do it. I'd like to show you what I've melted in the month, whether it's finished or not finished. Okay. So first one. So a lot of these, remember, are going to be bring back my bars. I do have some other ones. Um, yeah. Okay. So this one I've got finishing right now. Beautiful scent. So this is the Rock and Ruby Raz. Now, I know some people have been saying that these have like pour dates on them. I'll be honest. I've never found a pour date. I don't know where the pour date, they look on the lid. I don't know. I've never seen a pour date. But anyway, it's a really nice scent. But when it comes to my club, I like to keep my club right around 100 to 150 bucks. I don't like going crazy in my club. Just don't have the money for it. So I have to determine, is it club worthy against something else that I might like better? Now this is really nice. I do like it because for me, I can smell the raspberry in it. Um, actually, I don't even think there's raspberry in it, but I swear I can smell it. Actually, I thought I was supposed to have strawberry in it. But anyway, I like it. I think it's really good for me. It's not club worthy because I prefer um, rainbow sherbet. So it's too much like rainbow sherbet to me. And I prefer that one because of the lime. So that one I'm not putting in my club. Let's see if I can sort through and do all the bring back my bars. Okay. So this one, French kiss. I think French Kiss has, I threw my piece of paper away. Oh, wait. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Oh, I did. All right. So this one, I think is the one that has fig in it. And I like it. It's okay. It was nothing special to me. It seems more like a perfume, perfumey rich scent. It's like this, I think, is light and fun, fruity. Um, there's nothing offensive to it. There's nothing that's, I don't think that's going to give someone a headache. I think if you have guests over, you know, the Rock and Ruby Raz is great for that. Because um, I don't know that there's anything uh, headache inducing in it. This one, though, I think there might be something in it. I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've noticed that a lot of Scentsy's bars lately, and I, it might be a spring summer scent. Remember, I'm, I'm new. I only started in February. 
it seems like a lot of their spring summer scents have some kind of floral or perfume. I don't know why. I don't know if that's the way they are. That's one of my my things with some of the Scentsy bars compared to Vendor Wax. Vendor Wax, I can get it without perfume, without floral, and I like that. So, while this is a good scent, it's not going in my club. And for me, I can see French Kiss more as a like a bathroom scent. The only thing I I warm in my bedroom is typically the eucalyptus, the mints, um, lavenders, those kinds of things that help with headaches. All right, next one. Honeymoon Hideaway. Yeah, I don't know where they see this poor day because I'm even like trying to shine it in the light. I don't know. So Honeymoon Hideaway, I really like it. It is floral, but it's a nice, light, beautiful floral. I did it in here and in my bathroom yesterday. I had six going in here and one in the bathroom, I think I did, or maybe I had five and two, anyway. This is like all connected. That's the master bath. This is kind of like a den. I, I We affectionately call it the makeup room. And it's a beautiful scent, but I can't smell it. Um, when you walk through the room or kind of past a warmer, because you walk from, that's the bathroom, past to the living room, you kind of get this, oh, that was pleasant. But you're like, oh, but I don't really smell it. You just kind of get this this whiff of something on passing through. Does that make sense? Not something that I'm going to put in my club, but it is a beautiful scent. And I know some people have said that this is better in like the washer whiffs or some uh, the pods, those kinds of things that in the wax, some people couldn't smell it. Once again, just kind of take my not being able to smell something with a grain of salt because it could be my level of fanage in the hall or in the house fanage you like that word so kathyism you can have it all right next one my wish so i know some people said this smelled like cabbage patch kids dolls i do have cabbage patch kid dolls um i don't have any here i do have one from 1985 and i do still own it it's in storage could it smell like cabbage patch kid dolls maybe to me it smells like marshmallows so maybe that's kind of the cabbage patchy kind of scent people, you know, are, are getting. I do think it's a really nice scent, but really I'm getting mostly for me marshmallow with maybe a hint of something else. I think it's supposed to be fig in this one. Not 100% sure. I should have had my list. But knowing me, once again, not prepared. Next. I really, really wanted to like this one lemon thyme berry because you know my love of lemon and smelling it like this oh it's so beautiful i can smell that that tart lemon in there oh it's so good but when i warm it all i smell is strawberry i don't know why i don't smell lemon at all i'm not a huge strawberry person i will melt you know, strawberries. Sorry, I'm just kind of sorting while I talk. I will melt strawberries, you know, here and there, but it's, they're not really my jam. I'm more of a winterberry, blackberry, raspberry, um, those deep, rich, um, like make your mouth water berries. That's more me than a strawberry. So I think it's beautiful cold. So for me, I would probably love this in a pod, uh, in a car bar, uh, you know, that kind of thing where it's cold, you know, a cold scent versus a warmed scent. So I do have a couple more. I'll probably put them in the bathroom so it's a more closed in space. See what I think? I, I'm not adding it to my club just because my first take on it, I wasn't crazy about it. And today, well, by the time this uploads, Bring back my bar, I'll be done. So next one, my husband and I actually love this scent. It's watermelon patch. So I have both my watermelons here. Um, I actually thought I'd like watermelon mint more. There is just something about, 
about this. This to me smells to me. So everyone's different. Other people think this one smells more authentic, but it smells like authentic watermelon. Like I'm out in a watermelon field and I'm picking a watermelon. That's what it kind of smells like to me. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I love a good watermelon scent because to me it's that light refreshing kind of scent you know like when it's a really hot day you want something refreshing you don't want to go eat a raspberry when you could have a watermelon I know that's kind of weird to think about it that way but raspberry to me is a heavier fruit <laughs> and then a watermelon is this light beautiful watery goodness so this is in my club I was melting this at work and my co-workers like what do you got going on? Because I want two of those. So I ordered him some watermelon patch. And then let's go into watermelon mint. So with watermelon mint, there it's different. Um, you can kind of get a little bit of like that nasal clearing, like mint feeling, but it's not like peppermint but it's not like buttermint. It's not like, um, I know Ashley had said fruit flies. Ashley had said something about spearmint. Could be spearmint. It's, it's really good, but to me, it's not authentic watermelon. It's more watermelon with a twist. I really like it. I did not smell it very strongly but I did put it in my club because I love watermelon scents and I want to give it a, a true and honest chance when maybe I don't have so many fans going. So that is in my club. Next one, Jet Set Go. I finished this one off yesterday and I had this one, I because a lot of them I kind of just come compartmentalized where I warmed them the first time around. So this one I had in my living room, dining room area. Yeah, just living room, dining room area. And oh, I put that one, other one up there. I brain fart a lot. Anyway, it's really nice if I walked by the warmer, I was like, oh, that smells good. But it's not something that I could readily smell. And that was, that seemed to be like the theme I was having. I'm hoping bring back my bar in December is going to be a little different. We have a pellet stove. My husband likes it quite hot in here. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to get a better feel of those bring back my bars than maybe I did the spring summer ones. Because I know I could smell the spring summer scents before we had our fans going, but now it just seems like I hardly smell anything unless I have it in the warmer. I have the uh, the core warmer right by my my chair. So I things that I really wanna make sure I'm smelling, I put there. I did not put this in my club. Next one, Oodles of Orange. So I was very excited about this one because of Mr. Sean Roberry and Lisa Roberry. If you aren't subscribed to their channel or her channel, you have to. She's bomb, 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 bomb. Anyway, I really like this. I'll be honest, I thought Oodles of Orange meant that it was like really orangey. I heard someone, I don't remember who, say the Oodles of Orange was like orange colored fruit. It's really good. I did put this one in my club. Um, as you can tell, it got a little warm here, so I got goo. And a lot of my bars, they, they look a little yucky. I did put it in my club because I want to give it an honest shot. I wasn't really smelling it, uh, but I want to give it an honest go. I love the rainbow sherbet. To me, this reminds me of rainbow sherbet. I know some people remind some of Sunkiss Citrus. I'd have to reacquaint myself with that. I did like it. I only put, all of these, I only put... Other than the stuff I ordered for Bob, I only put one in my club because I had to put, since I wasn't placing another order, I just put Bob's in my club because it processes on the 6th. So that's in my club. Next one, Lucky in Love. This is a beautiful scent. I can't really smell it much 
because it, the clamshell's empty. Don't see any dates. It was a really, really good scent. I did not put it in my club. I thought about it. I had it in there for a little bit, and then I, I changed my mind. Uh, I do really like it. It wasn't strong for me. Um, so, Candy Crave. Used up all of this. So, this one, this one, I don't know. It's, it's so good. It's so good. And actually, uh, I think I put, yeah, I put the shower gel in my club. This is such a good scent. At work, it gave me such a bad headache. It was, it was so bad. I did end up warming it here. I think I had it in the bathroom and stuff and I really liked it. I wanted to give it another shot. So I went ahead and put one bar in my club to, to see. I wanted to see if it was that scent because I do really, really enjoy it. Um, it just gave me a headache. So, all right, I think, okay. That is the end of the Bring Back My Bars that I did kind of finish off. Um, back there, I'm still working on, what is it, coffee time? Coffee, the coffee one, coffee tree. I had that in my bath, or my kitchen yesterday. It's not very strong for me, and I think I prefer Mocha Doodle because it seems to offer a little bit more creaminess. So when it comes to the club, I'm gonna choose Mocha Doodle over Coffee Time, Coffee Tree, whatever it's called. And then, yeah, I just have some more bars back there I'm working on. I just haven't had time to get through. All right, so let's go through the rest of the bars. Squeeze the Day, it's a staple in my house. It's lemon. I thought about taking the squeeze the day and and doing a one-to-one -one mix with <laughs> total brain fart the other one oh lemon time berry I do have a couple cubes of that I thought maybe you'd bring out the lemon I haven't done it yet but squeeze the day is a staple in my house um, I melt it in the um, kitchen love it uh, sea salt and avocado uh, I don't really like it, but it is a nice, fresh, clean, simple scent. It's not offensive. No, it doesn't smell like avocados. Um, it's just a nice, pretty, beautiful, serene, serene. That's how it's a serene scent, and I and I liked it. Um, so did that one. Pink sugarberry mint. Love this scent. It's in my club. Love the scent, just don't put it in a brand new car. Um, I've been going through, I still have a long way to go. All right, rainbows and butterflies. I wrote on there just okay. It wasn't my favorite, wasn't my least favorite. It's, to me it was just, mm. uh, I made samples with the rest of it. This one I'm not even gonna smell, skinny dipping. Sorry, Lisa Roberry, cannot stand this, uh, absolutely cannot stand this scent. Um, I made samples out of it. Blueberry cheesecake. So the thing with blueberry cheesecake, sometimes, depending upon what I'm melting, it smells a bit sour. Kind of like the strawberry milkshake smelled a bit sour. Strawberry milkshake? I don't know. Strawberry swirl. Smelled a bit sour. It's the milk note. Uh, when I had it in the pods in my laundry room, nasty it seriously smelled like sour milk here it smells like beautiful blueberries so i really really like blueberry cheesecake i do have it in a bar but i think i'm beginning to realize i need to be in the mood for it so um let's see what else have i finished oh another bring back my bar sorry summer soleil this one is pretty floral i i think i put this one in no, I put this one in here. It's too floral. It's beautiful. It's It was just too floral for me is all. Um, this one I really didn't like, apples and oats. I know some people are hoping this comes back in the next um, Bring Back My Bar. Or, sorry, the next catalog, which we find out July 1st. See, now I can smell 
Now I can smell the cinnamon, but before, when I, when I first um, warmed it, it just kind of seemed nonplussed to me. It just like, uh, I think I ended up mixing this with um, baked apple pie. Because baked apple pie is a bit too strong on the cinnamon for me. And, and I have to tone it down with something. I'll usually tone it down with apple butter. I toned it down with this. And I toned it down with uh, vanilla buttercream. So that helped headache wise. This one. All right. Oh, and let's do this one first. Paradise Punch. I really liked it. It's just a nice fruit punch scent. Um, it's just that l light, airy, refreshing fruity um it's a generic fruit so it's not like it's a raspberry scent or strawberry scent or a citrus scent it's just this beautiful generic fruit scent and it's really nice i'll probably have to choose between this one and rainbow sherbet i like them both this one doesn't have the lime so it might be that i put this in the club to get a couple bars um and kind of go that way this one i was honestly i got wax on the back i was honestly a little disappointed so this is called poor unfortunate souls and it was supposed to be i thought like full berry it just i don't know it smells like sour berries to me i don't know there's just something about it i just don't care for it at all um i'll finish out the bar but i did take it out of my club I, it was in my club i took it out i i don't know it's just like this tart sour berry not like a sweet berry. It's a, it's a tart sour berry. So um, I was honestly disappointed. All right. And then this one I've been kind of holding out on. This is pumpkin cinnamon swirls. So with this one, I do watch a lot of Lisa Bro Roberry. And especially in the beginning when I was deciding what to put in my club since I was coming in in February. I was, wasn't a consultant, but I had a club. So I immediately threw some things in that I wanted to smell. And this one to me is just okay. There, it you can see it's you know I think because of the color it kind of changes the color of the container. I just didn't really care for it. I don't know why. Um, I have a couple bars of it because it was in my quarterly or my uh, bi-monthly club. So we'll see. I'm I'm sure it'll probably come back. So you know we'll we'll see. Ugh. So, it's been 30 minutes. Sorry about that. Um, maybe I'll stop this here and we'll do just the Scentsy Bring Back My Bar or the Scentsy, you know, what I was warming and I'll do my vendor wax warming in a different video. So, I don't like having my videos too long and I know my husband's waiting for me. We are going, we like watching um, Forged in Fire. So, I need to get to well, uh, watching that. So anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. So this one will be only my sensei and I'll do my vendor wax in another video. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.